Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into the world of Kissable Lips. We're diving into episode three and probably episode four. Um, yeah, it's it's super cute, y'all. It's it's it, it, like I said, my thoughts for episodes one and two. It's it's nothing terribly serious. It's just light. Turn off your brain and just enjoy the ride. Don't try to think too much about the things. Just enjoy the ride. Enjoy the pretty boys. Enjoy the fluffy, light little romance and the, the little... It's cute. It's cuteness. It's cuteness. And we're just going to continue making our way through this cuteness. So let's dive on into episode three. adorable still. Hello. Today was really fun. I too. Hello, Ajita. I'll go home later. Ajita, no. Why? Ajita, go home later. Okay. I'm bored right now. Ajita, go home later. Okay. I'm Yes. Again, we could have avoided any of this scolding we're about to get with a simple text. Adorable! Oh my god! Oh, and he is so handsome! Oh my god! It's the shape of the top lip. That, ugh, that's, that's what does it. You want to try it again? Maybe this time you won't run away. Today, you came out early. Hmm. Young and handsome boys are really good. Yeah, they do. We have to be careful. Not me. Good. Black on black on black. What's up, Kun? Why are you? To be fair, that's how he's acted pretty much the entire series. Uh, 
A, a little bit. Hyungi. I mean, if you want to just cut straight to the point. A Hyungi. Kuge ani go. I'm gonna go to a Hyungi. Mm-hmm. Oh, baby. Kinchanayo. Oh, are these part of your symptoms? Okay. Tsungsangi bom chota singa kinnande. Well, if he was allowed, it wouldn't be sneaking. Baby. Oh, I'm so sorry. 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 I'm so you better place your hand on the, 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 the skin that's peeking through his jeans, child. Do not try. It's like I'm gonna make this skin to skin contact before I ask you. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, fair question. Okay. To do Lin and Guanisha. Honey. Okay. Take whatever you want. Here. I'll open a vein for you. Take it. I like that he asked. Y'all know I love consent. Back of the neck. Oh, my poor boy is nervous. It's, 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 it's okay, baby. Okay. Cock blocking, but also, yeah, it's probably save your little brother from getting his soul sucked. Um, but so can they can they see the the blue change in his eyes? I mean, you can, just don't kill him. You know, a, 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 couple, a little suck, suck, a couple drops, drops out, and, you know, it will be fine. Yes, just don't kill him. Probably easier said than done, but just don't kill him, and it's, it, you'll be fine. Because if you kill him, then you'll be human, and then you'll be convicted of manslaughter. Hello, ears. Is it not Bulkoya? So you, you took straight from the vein with this one. CPR certified, I can I can try and bring him back for you. Seminion. 
가게에서도 핸드폰만 붙잡고 너 걱정하는 난 너한테 안중에도 없는 거지. I mean, I do, but also you, you might need to. 제발 전화 받아라, 연락해라, 어디 가면 말해라, 제발, 제발, 제발. 이게 그렇게 잘못한 일이야? Right, need to calm down a little bit because you can't live your life in constant fear that something's going to happen. 내가 좋아하는 again. 사람이랑 같이 있는 것도 안 되는 거야? 뭐? 네가 그 자식을 좋아한다고? How do you know he's a jerk? You've not met him. You saw him for two seconds with his tongue down your brother's throat, and all of a sudden he's a jerk. Like, let's let's calm down, big brother. Calm down, the judgment. Okay, so he does know. Okay. Vampire. Okay, so Brick Brother knows a lot of things. Okay. His paranoia is a little bit more rational, more understandable. Gotcha. So, not going to get any explanation as to what a pure blood human is. And I guess it doesn't run in the bloodline because nobody's coming after Big Brother. Um, but we're going to go back and visit anyway. Hey, Mr. Vampire, I'm a tasty snack just waiting for you to come and nibble on me. Polaroid. Huh? Huh? Can I take this? Why is that a sweet memory we're flashing back to? I don't know. Well, okay, sweet boy, you make whatever you need to make romantic. I love her with her pearls on the outside of her neck. Well, obviously outside of her neck. Her collar. <laughs> Girl, it, it, it just takes a little bit more time, okay? I'm not who are you? Are you mama? Are you auntie? Are you grandmother? Are you niece that he's just older than? Because time, I don't know. Your cure is just waiting for you. Also, did you tell Big Brother where you were going? Or did you sneak out again give him a fucking heart attack? Also, why is Big Brother just skulking through school campuses and coming into random people's bedrooms? That feels like a violation of privacy. Oh, don't say those words, Lord. Don't trigger something. Please don't trigger something. <laughs> Give me Miracle of Teddy Bear flashbacks. We are not wrong. We are not wrong. We are not wrong. We I'm not 
미안. 거짓말이었어. Well, this series is just flying by. And, you know, it's take it's flashing me back to like when I was reacting to Color Magic. It's one of the first KBLs I reacted to on this channel. And I'm like, how in the world did I manage to just go through that one episode at a time? Like maybe one or two episodes a week or something like that. Because I stretched that out for, for a good little chunk of time. I'm like, how did I not just binge? Because it's the same thing as this where it's like, the episodes are this long, and they always end in a place where I'm like, what? Like, and before I know it, you know, it's time for the next episode. I'm like, how, how? I don't know how I did that. I don't have that self-restraint anymore right now, apparently. Apparently, I grew out of self-restraint, because I'm like, mm -mm, I got to do this at least two episodes at a time, and even then, that's, that, that's just not enough. Um, but okay, okay. So we learned things. We learned that, well, we already knew that Sweet Boy was a pure blood. We, we, we identified that from episode one. Um, and we knew that drinking his pure blood would cure Hyun of his vampirism. Um, but what we learned is that, well, Hyun's symptoms are taking even more effect. So I guess he's running out of time more rapidly now. That than the 10 years he's had thus far. Um, and J Jun Ho's brother has been fully aware of his pure blood status, um, which may have been why he was almost kidnapped as a child, which may be why his parents died when they were young. Maybe, don't know. Don't know if we're gonna cross into that territory. Don't, don't know that it's relevant or anything like that. But Basically, older brother known about this for quite some time, and that's one reason he has been so overprotective and so panicky because he's always so fearful that something could happen to him because vampires all over the world. And now, we don't really know, or we haven't really seen in this series, like the full scope of a vampire's powers. All we've seen is his ability to hypnotize people with his pretty blue eyes but we haven't seen do vampires come with super strength super speed can they you know transform into bats or whatever like there's a lot of vampire lore from various sources and whatnot that you know and it, it branches into all these different places um but there's all kinds of vampire lore that we don't really know what what the vampires in this world or in this universe can do because already they've broken some of the vampire stereotypes he can walk out in sunlight um he i don't know if he casts a reflection but when he take a picture of him he shows up um it doesn't seem that he has any like weakness to symbols of christianity because like homegirls wearing the cross around her necklace or wearing the cross on her necklace and you know when she was talking to the i'm assuming who was a nun at the beginning um and he's been around her all perfectly fine not having any sort of issues so you know we're breaking those stereotypes already so who's who's to say that you know he has super strength or super speed or anything like that um reason i was going on this tangent is um because big brother is worried like he might get kidnapped he might get hurt blah 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 and i was gonna say that you know he might get kidnapped and big brother can't do anything to really fight them off but then i'm like well 
maybe he can because again we we don't really know the full scope of the vampire's powers in this universe it, he they may just be normal guys and they just have to feed off of blood and that's it and they can make their eyes turn blue that might be the full scope of their powers or they might have superhuman strength this that the other i don't know um but yeah big brother's worried because vampires are trying to steal him because he's got pure blood and if I guess there are enough vampires out there who want pure blood so they don't have to be vampires anymore so they can just be human. Go back to being human, I guess. Sure, why not? Um, I, you know, there's lots of things in this that I have questions about. Lots of things that I'm like, hmm, A plus B is not always adding up to C, but I'm like, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm not going to stress it too, too much. I'm not going to stress it too much. It's still cute they're still cute moments they are adorable together um hyun is still you know obviously dealing with his trauma of killing his boyfriend in the past um and or maybe it wasn't his boyfriend it i'm getting boyfriend vibes from them but you know the way he's like are you just not going to see me anymore maybe they broke up and he, I don't know. I don't know what led to them, what led to all that, but, you know, he sucked him dry and killed him, so he's still dealing with that. It's been ten years, but he's still dealing with that. So, understandably, he's, 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 it's a sensitive subject for him. Um, to the point where he's like, you know what, I'm just ready to die. It's fine. I don't need anything. Um, so, who knows, maybe Junho's gonna be able to reason with him or talk some sense into him and be like hey you don't have to die it's okay just suck on my lip for a little bit and you, you'll be good maybe we'll see we'll have to wait and see but yeah i'm gonna pause here because i again i could very easily just dive through the next couple episodes but i'm gonna pause it here give myself a little something to look forward to next week and by next week i mean probably tomorrow when i do another recording session but you know whatever anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on notifications to be notified when all my shenanigans get posted if there's anything else you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can if you'd like to support the channel in other ways you're more than welcome to join us over on patreon you don't have to but you're more than welcome to if you want to and i'll see you guys in my next video love ya Ooh.